and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Hi folks, I'm Bob Shrub, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. We are the most famous physical therapist on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. Today, the title of our program is Severe Shoulder Pain, the most recommended exercise by doctors. Brad and I have been in the business a long time. That's why we got the gray hair and the wrinkles. That's right. And be, over that period of time, this is the most recommended exercise by doctors. By the time a patient comes and sees us, they're all doing this I already. think you could ask any any PT in the United States, at least. And Physical they would, therapist. They would, yep, they would all agree with this, I would so, say. So we'll get to it in just a minute. But if you're new to our mm. channel, please take a second to subscribe to us. We provide videos on Stay Healthy, Fit, Pain-Free, and we upload every day. Also, you want to join us on our social media channels for two reasons. Number one, if you're tired of our long version of our program, <laughs> join us on Twitter or Instagram. We have a shorter version. If you want to go to our giveaway program, we're giving something away every week. Yes. And a lot of times it's cool stuff like a mattress or massagers and stuff like that. Go to Bob and Brad, bobandbrad.com and go to the giveaway section and you can sign up there. Or go to Bob and Brad on Facebook and it'll be pinned to the top of the page. There you go. All right, Brad. Okay, the big question. What is the exercise that most doctors are recommend on a regular basis uh it's very simple yep. very, it's a very simple exercise because doctors they're not therapists they don't have the time to teach people exercises. exactly but this one particularly after surgeries or if you have severe shoulder pain and, and i still use it it's a good starting point right but even at, when shoulders are, yep. are farther on along they can use it but it is the Codman's exercise or, or pendulum or pendulum yeah. yep. or just let the, I call it the elephant trunk exercise. Oh, that's a good. You always come up with good analogies. Well, Bob, Bob you know how it is. I yeah. lay up at night thinking about yeah, you must. Like this. That's all. That's a perfect one, though. So the whole concept to this exercise is you let the arm relax and we're putting gentle traction. So the joint distracts a little bit, helps circulation and let things loosen yeah, up. Yeah, you're getting more fluid in there, right. um, a little more fluid in the joint itself. Exactly. Uh, so, so should we demonstrate it? Sure. Two different, you can do sure. pro or profile and I'll do. You want me to do that? Oh, I can do a profile. Okay. Yeah. Sure. So I have people, if, if this is, just wait, Bob. Oh. If your shoulder's so sore that you can hardly lift it like this and like this, and it's not really ready for any resistance training or stretching, or after surgery, and they don't want you to do any of that for four weeks or whatever it may be, uh, what we just we want to get that shoulder stretched, but in a gentle way to do it. So you lean forward, and we always have people put your hand on a countertop or a chair so that you don't bother your back, and you can relax more. Now, Bob is down here and the he's completely relaxed. Now, Bob, just stand still. If you do this properly and I bump it, that arm should just wobble just like it's made out of jello. No muscles are tight. Now to get this, we want it to go forward and backwards, right to left and then circle. So Bob is, see how Bob is moving his body and his arm just follows that motion because it's like a pendulum. That's why we call it the pendulum. Codman's I think is from Dr. Codman, I believe. Right. Mm -hmm. Oh, and we can also go side to side. Right. You want to show that? Yep. Well, you got, right you got a better left. version on yep. that. They can see it better from there. And typically, I'll have people do this about 30 seconds. Um, you know, if it feels good, you can go longer. If for some reason it's not comfortable, don't go as long. And then the circles, like clockwise, then you got to get your whole body to go. And these should feel good. It should feel relaxing. If these cause pain, it creates sharp pain in your shoulder. It's just simply not ready for it yet. What you can do is some people will not bend over so far and they'll do partial pendulum, sure. like to here as opposed to here. But if you look at what's going on, my shoulder is flexed here this far up. Yeah. Now, you may not be able to lift it up here, but yeah. when you're like this, the, the shoulder tolerates it very well. Yeah, I always tell people it's a sneaky way of getting motion. So let's say I, I really get it going and get it out to here. Yep. Look how high I am. Right. So, you know, and like you said, you may not even be able to get it to here. Standing normally. upright. Standing right. upright. So now, now this is also for, uh, for example, my shoulder, I swim a lot and my shoulder is giving me some grief a little bit. And after I get done swimming and it's a little tired, a little sore, 
I'll do this one then just because it feels good. It allows the muscles so to relax. So in that case, you just support yourself on your leg there. Yeah, you can do that better. too. I mean, I would have. If I didn't have a chair here, Bob, and I oh, didn't sure. run. The, I thought you were showing a new technique. Well, no. Oh, well, right. you can do it. <laughs> yeah. But I like to do it this way. Well, one. I'm thinking you get out of the pool, you know, you don't have anything to oh, hang on to. Oh, right, you know, yeah. You well, I usually wait till I'm walking out the door. Oh, do you? Well, what, I'm taking walk a out like this or what? I mean, well, what I doing? stop. It's my yeah. own routine. I have my own routines, you know, how I am about that. So the other thing is, you know, if you have severe shoulder pain, just, you know, one thing I recommend, uh, recommendation, uh, one recommendation I make, Brad, is that people keep it supported as much as so possible. So now we're given a bonus outside of the Yeah, we're giving a bonus. Yeah, yeah, so let's say you're just sitting in a chair and you think, well, my arm's supported somewhat. It really isn't. Yeah. It's still getting some traction and pulling on it. Yeah, get, put a pillow underneath just it. Just like this. I, you might even put a pillow underneath it on bed. Um, yep. Keep it supported as much as you can, even in the car. Right. I, I try to keep it supported on, you know, the the, the armrest or right. something. And it's you nice know, to have a little cushion on the armrest. It just feels good if, you know, like my car doesn't have a real cushy armrest. Right. I think we should make some armrest for them. I I I don't disagree, That's not a bad Brad. Idea. Yeah, yeah, another Bob and Brad invention. There you so, go. All right. Remember, Brad and I could fix just about anything. Except for a broken heart. There you go. But we're working on yeah, it. Yeah, we're working on it. Yep. I, I got to figure it out, but I'm not going to tell you. You do not. I don't. Thanks. <laughs>